Minister Scott Morrison has taken action after a Seven News crew was assaulted by US police during protests in Washington DC this morning. Reporter Amelia Brace and her cameraman were attacked during a live on-air report prompting Mr Morrison to contact the Australian Embassy in Washington and ask for an investigation. Our ambassador should be certainly making representation on behalf of these Australians who effectively have been assaulted. Uh, that's what it is, for doing their job. We're very concerned always about the safety of Australians overseas. Shortly after the attack, it became clear that officers were clearing the way for President Trump to leave the safety of the White House and be filmed walking in the streets nearby. For more, we cross live to US Bureau Chief Ashley Mullaney. Ash, this is your team in the firing yeah. line. We're worried about their safety and yours and how the media is being treated while covering these riots. Well, and the video we've seen today speaks for itself, but what we witnessed in Washington was an abhorrent uh, and deeply disturbing use of force by police. Amelia Brace and Tim Myers were lawfully reporting on the protest taking place outside the White House today uh, when half an hour before the curfew kicked in, these officers started moving towards the protesters and caught right in the middle uh, was our crew. And you can see from the video they are attacked with uh, a shield and a baton in uh, in what were really, really disturbing uh, pictures this afternoon. We understand that the Prime Minister has uh, spoken to the Embassy in Washington to have the matter investigated. He has also reached out to Channel 7 to check on their welfare and thankfully the team are both doing OK. But we have seen uh, journalists be arrested and today we have seen them be assaulted. Anne? And Ash, tonight you're in Minneapolis where George Floyd was killed. There have been conflicting reports following his autopsy. Yeah, so the family wasn't satisfied with the original report from the medical examiner's office, which found that George Floyd didn't die from strangulation. Their own independent autopsy has found that, in fact, he did die of asphyxiation as a result of that officer pressing his knee on George Floyd's neck for almost nine minutes, two other officers leaning on his back. That stopped the blood getting to his brain, it stopped the air getting to his lungs, is what this report found. His death has now been deemed a homicide, uh, and Derek Chauvin, the uh, Minneapolis police officer will face court on Monday for third degree murder and uh, manslaughter over this. What we've seen on the ground today has been an ex extremely powerful moment here in Minneapolis at the site where George Floyd was killed by this police officer with the first member of the Floyd family visiting the vigil here with a powerful message for the city and the country that he wants to see an end to the violence and the arson and the looting that's happened across America. I understand y'all upset, but like it was already said, I doubt y'all uh, half as upset as I am. So if I'm not over here wilding out, if I'm not over here blowing up stuff, if I'm not over here messing up my community, then what are y'all doing? What are y'all doing? Y'all doing nothing! So there is still a small group of uh, demonstrators here at the vigil tonight. It is now past the curfew, so there was some thought that perhaps may, police may turn up, as we have seen on other nights, to move protesters along. Uh, that hasn't happened this evening, and thankfully things remain calm at the moment, Anne. All right, take it easy once again. Ash, good to speak with you. Ashley Mullaney, live in Minneapolis. Thank you.